Installing a new Strasburger door with side lights to ensure it operates flawlessly is easy when you follow these straightforward guidelines. Remember, service calls cost everyone, so doing it right the first time saves money and creates satisfied and new customers. Prior to installing your vinyl door frames, check that the opening is square and the proper size. Always allow a minimum of a half inch on both sides as well as the top of the frame. Make sure your door is the correct size for the opening as well as the right style and color. Prior to setting the door in the opening, secure shims at the depth of the opening in line with where the pre-drilled holes of the vinyl frame are located on the latch side. Place four shims on the hinge side directly in line with pre-drilled holes of the frame. If there are two side lights attached to the door, place shims in line with the pre-drilled holes of the vertical frame of both side lights. Next. Sweep all debris from the sill and door opening and check to make sure the sill opening is level. If not, correct this situation prior to proceeding to the next step. After confirming the sill is level, we recommend you install a water membrane along the length of the sill and approximately six inches up the sides. It is important that you contact your nearest DuPont dealer for installation instructions for any waterproofing requirements. Next, apply a bead of high-grade caulking along the inner side of the sill area of the doorway. Prior to installing the door, be sure to remove the shipping handles and bag of screws provided. Proceed to place the unit in the opening while at the same time applying downward pressure on the sill to guarantee a good seal along the sill and floor. Caution must be taken to make sure the sill is level across the entire width at all times. If the door is loose in the opening, you may add additional shims to help secure the top of the frame in the opening, keeping the top of the door frame flush with the inside of the finished wall. We recommend always using shim material that will make full contact to the existing shim and the door frame. These shims should be placed carefully so the frame of the door does not bow or distort. Fasten the vertical frame at the top into pre-drilled hose on both sides of the door using 3-inch screws into the studding. Check the operation of the door, making sure the door is closing evenly along the lock side. Proceed to install a 3-inch screw at the lower corner of the hinge side, making sure to keep the door frame plumb and level. When installing your 3 inch installation screws, always remember to only snug the screws in place. Do not over tighten as this will cause stress at that point which could affect the operation of the door. Prior to installing the fourth 3 inch screw at the lower frame latch side, check that the door slab is making even contact with the weather stripping on the lock side. If this is not the case, move the door in or out on the latch side. This procedure will take what we call the cross bowing or racking out of the door system. Now install the fourth three inch screw at the lower frame of the lock side. If the side light is attached at the lock side, the installation of the first four screws are first and third screws on the hinge side, and second and fourth screws on the lock side. Don't forget to install three inch screws into the remaining holes of the hinges. With double side lights, again, install the first screw in the upper hinge side, second screw upper lock side, the third screw lower hinge side, and the fourth in the lower lock side. If the door slab is hitting the underside of the head, place a shim under the mull post on the lock side to even the gap. If the door jam is hitting the jam, place a shim under the mull post hinge side. At this time, check the top corner of the lock side. You will notice two shipping spacers, one at the top and one at the side of the top corner. There is also a spacer below the dead bolt as well as the bottom of the door. All spacers should not be removed until the door is correctly installed and operational, as these spacers act as a gauge to maintain the 1 8 to 3 16 even space that is required. 
Make sure the gap is consistent around the perimeter of the door slab approximately 1 8 to 3 16 and that it is operating smoothly. If the gap at the top of the lock jam side or side light is reduced and or the slab is hitting inside of the jam due to the door sag, tighten the three inch screw in the top of the top hinge only enough to even the spacing around the slab of the mow joint on the lock side. Again, check the spacers. The gap or space should be perfect. Next, install three inch screws into the remaining pre-drilled holes at the lock and side light sides, as well as the head. Caution, do not install shims in this area. We do not recommend solid shims in the header of any of our products due to the possibility of the framed wood header structure bowing down. Once the door is secure, check the operation, making sure that the sight lines are consistent and that the door is operating smoothly. Caution must be taken to ensure that the door slab is making even contact with the lock side. If not, you will need to recheck the shims and reset. Lastly, always check to make sure the sweep is making even contact with the sill crown. If not, you will need to recheck the shimming. Now that the door functions properly, you are now ready to seal the perimeter. There are many products that can be used for this job. It is very important not to overfill or pack the cavity, as this could cause the frame to bow or distort and prevent proper operation of the door. Keep in mind you only require an air barrier at the dew point or door slab of your door. Filling the cavity completely has little or no benefit. If you are using a low expanding foam, remember to keep the door locked for about a half an hour after application is completed. Prior to installing your trim, unlock and operate the door to make sure the operation is not hampered. You are now ready to install your trim. If your door has a transom attached, this is the last part of the door system to secure. Prior to securing it to the structure, Cut a piece of 2 by 2 inch lumber that measures 2 millimeters longer than what the opening is along the hinge side from the top of the sill crown to the underside of the header. Place the 2 by 2 inch lumber in the center of the opening of the door. Once in place, proceed to fasten the transom through the pre-drilled holes. Once the transom is secured, Remove the support lumber and open and close the door to ensure a consistent 1 8 to 3 16 of an inch perimeter. Well, that's it. You've installed your Strasburger door the right way and avoided costly and aggravating service calls. Thank you for purchasing Strasburger doors.